All right, before you go, we're taking a live look at the outage map this morning. Just under 800 customers in the dark. One week ago, this map reached numbers up to 221,000, as many of us remember. OPPD expects power to be fully restored by the end of the week. Happening today, the city of Omaha will begin tree debris curbside collection. The city encourages you to have it ready to go this morning. Pickup will start about noon today. And reminder, do not put debris in containers. They just want you to place it right on the curb. Well, the former chief fundraiser for the Omaha chapter of Latino Peace Officers Association is set to plead guilty later on today. Jack Olson was accused in a public corruption scandal. Also involved, former city councilman Vinny Palermo and two police officers, Richie Gonzalez and Johnny Palermo. The state revenue committee will meet today in Lincoln in hopes of sending the finalized property tax bill to the Unicam floor. Lawmakers heard testimony about a last minute amendment that would put a 10 cent per ounce tax on alternative nicotine products. The committee is expected to vote soon to see if it will make the cut for debate. I'm live here at Westside High School. Westside Community Schools is just one of three districts heading back to school this morning in just a couple of minutes. Also heading back today, Millard Public Schools and we have Bellevue Public School students in select grades who are also starting today. The rest are going to head back tomorrow. After last week's storm, some buildings at Westside and Millard did not have power. But thanks to the hard work of recovery crews, the light they are back on here at all buildings, so all of the students will be able to start the school year. Erin. Marie Kane reporting for us this morning. Teachers at six Omaha private schools are getting a raise. The Omaha Catholic School Consortium announced they are giving their educators a 13% bump in pay. The increase starts this month, and the group says they are proud to have a 92% retention rate for the upcoming school year. All right, about